Bell time and we're underway and this match brings in recon from the Truth Commission against Andy Anderson, the outstanding Canadian star. And Al, I gotta say, after hearing the words of Mr. Bill Barons and now <laughs> stooping to the, here he is hiring a suspended wrestler back into MCW Georgia just to get him back on television. How low will this guy go? Well, how long was Burkess Brown suspended for? A couple of weeks was about it. <laughs> I think it's great. Every time the promoter of MCW, Burt, the other white meat prentice, thinks he has one up on Bill Barons, Barons goes and does it again. Brick House Brown is back in yeah. MCW. I, I gotta, I gotta ask a question that I am sure is on the minds of every MCW wrestling fan, every wrestling fan out there, because goodness knows this is all over the internet about what's happening here. But the fact of the matter is, how in the world can you run a company? in this case, Burt Prentice, as the promoter of MCW, when he's got a faction of the company that is the, that is applying their own rules, that is working to their own agenda. Whoa, did you see that? Recon, over the top ropes, goes to the floor, and Andy Anderson's going upstairs and down to the floor, and he just knocked Recon down. Holy Toledo and the fight on the floor. We'll get back to that situation, but we got a situation right here with Andy Anderson and Recon, and what a match we got going on. Recon still reeling from that loss to the Colorado Kid last week, and Andy Anderson, you know, we talked about Brickhouse Brown, that's a former tag team partner of Andy Anderson's. Anderson with a, a whole new attitude in recent weeks, but Recon able to reverse things and whip him into the turnbuckle. He looked like a runaway tra freight train going into that turnbuckle. You know, getting back to this Bill Barron's Brickhouse Brown Vol situation, you got a splinter group of MCW that is obeying their own rules. How do you control? MCW Georgia is out of control. How can you control a situation like that? I don't have a problem with out of control. Professional wrestling, oh, incredible drop kick by incredible. the big man. Incredible. Professional wrestling has always been about egos and everybody wanting their own way, and this is just another example of that. Burt Prentice is the man who wants his own way, wants everything to be the way he wants it, and there are several people, Bill Barons and the Vols and Brickhouse Brown and Princess D, who disagree with him. Recon now clotheslining Andy Anderson, and Andy worse for wear in the ring. I might add for the fans, here's a cover, one, two, and Recon almost had him. I thought he did. For the fans in and around Atlanta, Georgia, MCW Georgia appears every Thursday at the Georgia Bell Flea Market, and I understand they've had some tremendous crowds and tremendous turnouts there. And you, of course, you watch MCW Wrestling on WATL TV Channel 36 early Sunday morning in the Atlanta area, one of the highest rating programs on that station. And action like this comes right into your home via this television show. Look at that, a flying front head scissors by Andy Anderson. Cover on recon. Count of two was all he got. He almost had him. I thought he could have had him there. Anderson is showing incredible intestinal fortitude and taking the big man on move for move. Oh! DDT. Boy, he had him for a second there. I thought he had him. The classic David and Goliath matchup here on MCW. And recon putting the knee across the chest of Andy Anderson. Well, MCW Georgia whether you like it or not, has some talent on their side. And I just don't know how the situation is going to, to write out as far as who's going to maintain control in the organization of MCW. But I'll tell you what, whoever comes out on top, it's going to be a positive for one group of people, and that is the great MCW fans, because we've got top knock top-notch action. Last week, a steel cage match with the top of the cage wrapped in barbed wire. Tonight at the fairgrounds, who knows what's going to happen. Of course, every Thursday in Loganville at the Georgia Bell Flea Market, great action from MCW Georgia. We're all over. Recon moving in, going for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. High in the air goes Andy Anderson. And like a fallen tree in the forest, Anderson goes down. Recon for the cover. One, two, and Anderson out from underneath. I thought Recon had him there. Recon didn't hook the leg. Looks like he's overconfident, and that's going to hurt you. Recon staying right with his man, the mark of a pro. Double axe handle across the back, and Anderson reeling in the ring, now trying to fight back and going to the eyes. He actually slowed Recon down by raking at the eyes. Andy Anderson of late having a change of heart. Recon coming off the ropes, and that big forearm right across the back. I, I just realized something, Michael. Uh, in, in past weeks, we, we've seen Recon with, with Honest John, and I don't see him here. He, he's 
He's probably back still trying to control that Lord Humongous because that guy, he's hes a handful. And, and this Honest John, he's got so many fine wrestlers in his stable. I, I'm sure that, that's what the situation is. And Anderson gets his feet on the ropes. Hey, while you mention it, while you bring it up, that is a very odd occurrence here today. Well, things are changing in MCW like the weather. I wonder if there perhaps has been a falling out between Recon and Honest John after Recon's uh, demise, if you would, to the belt at the hands of the Colorado Kid. I understand Honest John uh, may have gotten part of the blame for that. Well, no, no. I'm sure Honest John just, he's probably on, on his cellular phone uh, working out some uh, contracts. Small package right there by Andy Anderson. He had Recon down for the count of two. This match has gone back and forth for the duration. Recon clotheslines Anderson. Anderson down again. You know, I, I can't help but think that Honest John may be feeling the wrath of Recon, and the reason perhaps that he may not be out here is maybe Recon has fired him. Now, I, I, don't, I don't think that's the case, but I think uh, Recon's got things under control here in the ring as Andy Anderson draped throat first on that top rope, then slammed down to the canvas. Well, Recon pulling the rug right out from under him, and Andy Anderson, but with one way to go down, and that's face first. And this man, I'll tell you, I don't think I have seen Recon quite as upset in the ring and it reacting and reacting the way he has been a long, long time. Recon moves in, Anderson out of the way in the corner, and now comes firing back with fisticuffs under the chin. Anderson sensing an opening, belly to belly, snap suplex, over he goes, count, one, two, and oh, nearly. Anderson has seen his window of opportunity, and it's not going to be open for long. He needs to take full advantage of it. Go for clotheslines. Takes the big man down. Took two of them. He got him down. One, two, and oh. The referee's hand was nearly on the mat for the three count before Recon kicked out. Recon, power slam. Caught Anderson coming off. One, two, three. He nailed him. He got him. I think he used the trunks, though, to kept, capture that advantage. Hard-fought victory for Recon. He really had to uh, exert all of his energy, but he gets the Duke. Well, Recon takes the victory. Wait a minute, I, I'm noticing coming out of the dressing room area, there is Brickhouse Brown and Princess D. I'm gonna get up to the ring to see what's going on. Michael St. John heading towards the ring to try and get a word, see what's going on. You see Brickhouse Brown and Andy Anderson, former partners in the ring. All right, First of all, on. Andy, hey, the last time I left here, you was on your back. See, Prince D, I told you it was a bad investment. Should have left you in Canada where you belong. You don't belong here. You're no good. You ain't no happening. You still ain't learned nothing yet. Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. Look, Brick, get off my back, okay? I don't need the balls. I don't need you. And I don't need that wench, Princess D. I tried to do whatever you said. It just didn't work. So tell you what, from now on, I'm on my own. Andy Anderson is on his own. So just leave me alone, okay? Hey, hey. You think you get? You think you get to that skull of yours? You get to that thick skull? I don't need you. To hell with you. I'll do it by myself. Oh no! Oh, Brickhouse Brown just piled around Andy Anderson in the middle of the ring. Andy Anderson told Brickhouse Brown that he was doing his own thing now and he was happy the way things are going and Brickhouse Brown just attacked him. Oh, I can't believe that. I mean, I wanted to stay up there. I had a feeling that, that Brickhouse was up to no good. Look at this. Recon is in the ring. Where is he coming from? Recon has just attacked Brickhouse Brown. Recon still hadn't gone back to the dressing room. He saw what happened and he just hit the ring and leveled Brickhouse Brown. Unbelievable what's transpired this week here in MCW. Big boot, Brickhouse goes down. And Recon having his way to the... Oh, here come the balls. Here come the balls. What's going to happen now? They're going after Recon. They're going after the big man, Al. Well, it's a three on one on Recon. Well, two on one right now as Brickhouse Brown tries to get up. Double boot to the midsection. They're going to take him up and over. Oh, what a snap suplex. A double snap suplex. The balls and Brickhouse Brown in the ring now. Brickhouse pounding down on Recon. Recon came to the aid of Andy Anderson, a man he had just defeated in the ring. And now the balls and Brickhouse Brown, a combination of MCW Georgia, are cracking away at Recon. Well, I think it's a matter of Recon sticking his nose where it didn't belong. Brickhouse Brown 
and Andy Anderson had some personal business to take care of, and Recon just ran in, tried to break it up, and that brought out the Vols, who uh, seem to be aligned with Brickhouse Brown, along with the enchanting Princess D. We're going to take a break. Let's get out of here and try to restore order. We'll be back with more MCW action. Bill Barron's is at ringside now. Let's take a break. We'll be back and try to sort things out. <laughs> 